Dystopian. Hello, it's Bricktopian here, and this is a video on a complete overview of all of the animal costume minifigures that LEGO has done. I don't know if there's any missing, but I don't think there is. These are all the ones I have, and some of them are from the um, collectible minifigure series, and some of them are from the uh, builder minifigure stations at LEGO stores, although they are the um, recommended build so I still count them as part of this line and on some of them are even from other um, collectible minifigure series such as Batman and then there's even a few that come from sets as well. There's lots of different animals involved and there's lots of different colours and some of the animals they've done in more than one different design. In the back row, you can see there's lots of different rabbit ones they've done, such as this one, which came from a little miniature, miniature set, which was uh, for Easter, and it involved having a motorcycle with it or a scooter, and it uh, came in a little cardboard house, and uh, this was one of the more difficult ones to get. I do like this figure quite a lot. Uh, I love the bow tie. They do other ones like this one, which is from the uh, minifigure series. I believe it's from series three or four or something. It was quite an early on figure in the line of uh, minifigures. And it comes with a carrot, as quite a few of the rabbits do. Um, it's a very simple design, and it's mostly white with pink on. But um, it's still a good figure, and it's still one of the best animal costume minifigures, probably. Then you have this one which is a brown rabbit instead of white and it comes with a gun. This one is actually from the Batman collectible minifigure series and it is one of the villains. The brown is a nice contrast to the uh, white of some of the other rabbits and it uses um, a different colour skin tone rather than the yellow as well. And the gun is very unusual to have with a rabbit but it makes sense in the context of Batman. After this you have the chocolate rabbit which is from the um, Builder minifigure wall at Lego stores and is one of the designs they showed you. I love the little um, white face with the uh, little whiskers on there and the double uh, sing double front teeth. It comes with a chocolate bar 1x2 tile and it has some pretty good torso printing with the bow on and the coloured lines at the bottom. Next up you have the Batman bunny, which has just lost its legs for some reason. But yeah, you have the Batman bunny, which comes with a nice white utility belt. It comes with a pink basket to hold an Easter egg that's in blue. And it is like a costume on top of a costume because it's got the Batman eye uh, cover underneath the part of the Batman costume. Uh, I like this figure and it's cool that it's blue but I still feel like it is not one of the better of the bunny figures if you want a rabbit costume figure. After this you have one that's from a Monkey Kid set. It's actually supposed to be a robot, but it's a robot in a rabbit costume. This one doesn't have any printing on the ears, unlike the others, but it has an awesome torso print that looks like it has wires coming through. It has two alternative faces as well, one that's angry by having a black head with a red eyes but on the other side it is blue and it has happy wholesome eyes and then finally for the rabbit ones that i have in my collection you have another one that came in a cardboard box set it um is it comes with a painted easter egg and a little uh paintbrush and it also has the awesome bow tie and a nice torso print. It also has cool little bunny teeth. So that's it for all of the rabbit ones in my collection. After all of the rabbits, you can now see I have quite a few 
bird style animal costume minifigures. These involve the CMF chicken, uh, the skater pod baby chick, the CMF penguin, the CMF turkey and the build a minifigure wall um, chick and then the stunt city stunts bike uh, giant chick slash chicken. All of these are pretty cool. I'd say my favourite one out of these is probably got to be the penguin because I love the little um, headpiece in the black and white colours. Although the most standout one probably is the turkey because of its massive wings at the back. These are a great line of figures and I think they are cool, especially having them all together. Although these two I don't think are as good as the others. Now you can see there are two different dragon minifigures that are costumed. There's a green one which is new for series 2023 and then there's a red one which I believe was from series 18. Both of these are almost identical but they have slight differences such as the more orange colour on this one and the yellowy colour on this one. They also have different coloured uh, horns at the back because this one has white and this one has black. These are both great figures. Although I don't necessarily think we needed to have both, but I do love the contrast of the two colours and these would look great in a little fun dress up medieval scene. Beyond that we have some of the bear style costume ones. We have on the far left you have the uh, minifigure wall one which is a brown bear which comes with a nice croissant piece. You have the one that is a panda that comes from a monkey kid set because it does actually have a person's head underneath that's a normal person wearing glasses. You have, I think this came from um, the noodle tank set but I can't remember for sure. This one is called the rainbow bear which reminds me of the care bear and this was from the CMF series. I think it was from series 19. You have this one which is also a minifigure wall one which was done for Valentine's Day uh, I believe last year. Or it might have been this year. Actually, I think it was this year. And then the normal regular panda CMF, which I cannot remember what that's from either. Series probably 17 or something. But these are all great, and I do love the bear ones, especially my favourite being probably this one, because I love the teddy bear look of it, although the panda one is really cool as well. These are the tiger ones I have. This one is from the Chinese New Year sets. Uh, I think it was called the Ice, was it called the Ice Ice Festival or something? Or something like that. I can't remember exactly what the set was called, but it's from that set, which is new for 2022. Then you've got this one, which is from the uh, minifigure wall. And then you have this one, which is from Series 16, I believe, which was all 14, Series 16 or 14, one of the two, which was the uh, Monster series of CMFs for, for standard CMFs. I think my favourite has got to be this one because the headpiece just looks really good with the eyes and tigers are my favourite animals so this has got to be one of my favourite CMFs, um, sorry not CMFs, one of my favourite costume, costume minifigures of all, favorite of all time I would say. This one feels a bit cheating because it's supposed to represent an actual woman who's a tiger but I still thought I'd include it because it still feels like rele feels relevant. Speaking of um, minifigures that come from Chinese New Year sets, here's two others that I have. This one is the rat from the Year of the Rat and this one is the ox from the Year of the Ox, which were last year and the year before. This one from last year and this one from the year before. I think the rat is my favourite of the two. I love the headpiece with the ears and it just looks really cool with the overall outfit. This one also is good, although I'm not such a fan of the purple legs, although some people will be, and it's good how you can remove the horns on the top of the head. Now you can see there's a few different animal figures that look like dogs or are dog-like creatures. You have the pug, which is on this end and this end. This one is from the minifigure wall, and this one is from uh, CMF, I believe, series 21. Then you have a fox, a wolf, and a raccoon, all of which are very similar in the way they're built and all three of them have uh, sacks. This one has a slightly different head mold to these two, these two are identical, but they are all still very similar and you can put them together and they look pretty good. Which one is your favourite of these three? I like the fox the most. These are the unicorn minifigure costumes. This one 
is um, the blue one, which is supposed to be the male uh, unicorn, and this is the white one, which is supposed to be the female unicorn. Both of these come from Mini Thicker series, and this one is definitely my favourite because of the awesome accessories. And I love the printed little crown on the torso. This one has a gold horn on top, whereas this one is white to match the outfit. Two of the taller animal costume mini figures include the giraffe and the llama. The llama is quite plain and not one of my favourites because it's all tan, but it still does represent a llama pretty well. The giraffe on the other hand is a really cool one and I love how tall the neck is, and it even comes with two leaf accessories. The texture of the um, pattern on the skin works really well and it really stands out. This figure is from one of the Lego Movie minifigure series and this one is from, I believe, series 20. Two of my favourite um, costume minifigures would have to be these two. I love the cat and I love the gorilla. Mainly why I love them so much is because their heads have more covering rather than seeing too much of a gap for the face. But I do love the cat one anyway because of the nice contrast between the white and the black. And I love that you get a blue fish as an accessory. The gorilla comes with a basic yellow banana. I think this is one of my favourite CMFs of all time, not just out of the animal ones. These two figures are the Ladybird or Ladybug and the um, Bumblebee. I'd say these two are pretty awesome, although they have mostly face showing compared to some of the others, which is not so good in my opinion. Although I do love how they go together really well. Um, this one, in particular the B one, is the hardest and most expensive of the costume minifigures to get second hand. I don't know why, I think it could be because of the printed piece that's here with the um, honey pots with the bee on, but I'm not entirely sure. I know that puts up the price. Um, both of these figures are really good and they look great from the back as well because one has the amazing wings piece and this one has the lovely uh, ladybird spotted wing piece. Another thing that's great about this one is you get the one by one tile that's round with the ladybird printed on. Next up you have the reindeer and the uh, spider. The spider I believe might have been from series 14 of the haunted minifigures but I'm not 100% sure. And the reindeer is a new one for 2022 from series 23. I'd say the reindeer is a really good figure and I love the printed heart biscuit piece and the, uh, the um, antlers can actually be removed and you can put them on a hair piece of another minifigure which is really cool. I love the teeth as well on the reindeer, they just look really cool to me. And I even like the little gold, gold bell that's printed around the neck. The spider is pretty good, but it's not one of the best as an animal in my opinion. But I do love how they have the big massive piece on the back that has the legs that stand out. Then here are some other minifigures that are costumed. We have uh, a lizard one and then a sh orca one and then we have two sharks the orca comes from the batman minifigure series this one comes from the regular minifigure series this comes from the build a minifigure wall and this comes from the mini regular minifigure series this i believe was the first or one of the first animal costume minifigures that they did and it's still a good one even now although it does look a bit like a dinosaur but it's supposed to be a lizard I would say this one is the weakest because there's no head inside so it's hard to even class it as a minifigure costume but I still do for the sake of this video. I love the popsicle piece that comes with this one and the suit although I think the regular shark probably works better overall than this one. Now we come to the pig um, cost, cost, um, cost, um, collectible minifigure series uh, animal. The pig is really good and I love that it comes with green apple and it looks really happy and I love the little ears on it. I even like the little small detailing of the black bits on the hoofs and the black hands look really cool as well. I love the face printing, it looks awesome, although you do not get an alternative face print. The little curl detail at the back is nice but it would have been good if that was an actual piece they'd used. They could do even a brown colour pig because you do get other coloured pigs. The last two I have in my collection are both uh, elephants. One is from the minifigure series and the other was from the minifigure wall. I love the heart on the minifigure wall version matching the red hands 
and the face expression is pretty cool as this was a Valentine's Day minifigure. This one is quite funny to me because it's wearing a tutu although it's not the most uh, attractive one in my opinion because of that but it is quite a cool little uh, thing to have and it's ironic. And the crying face is actually a reference to the fact that it comes with a uh, mouse piece because supposedly elephants are scared of mice. That is a nice little fun thing to do and I do love this mouse piece that comes with it. I would say overall these are my favourite of the animal costume minifigures. You've got the rat, the panda, the pug, the fox, the gorilla, the cat, the tiger and the bear. These are definitely my favourites partly because of what animals they're based on but also because of the colours or because of the detail or because of how much of the head is covered up. I would say my favourite out of all of them is probably the cat although it is a close second with either the bear the panda or the tiger. Anyway, they're just my thoughts on this collection of minifigure costumes. Uh, I love all of the animal ones, although there are some that are not as good as others. And there are a lot of minifigures that I love that aren't animal costume ones, but these are just all the ones I have. And I believe I have all of them. With one exception that I didn't mention, which I feel like could also be included, which is another one from the Batman minifigure series. And this one is called Cheetah. This is one of one I didn't mention that actually could be considered a part of this collection too. And this one comes with a money sack in green with the dollar sign on. So these are all of the minifigures I have that are animal costume, as I say, and I love them all. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe to this video and feel free to watch more videos. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, and look out for more stuff to come. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.